Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on an oldie but a goodie that has recently resurfaced and gone viral. That is the Palladio rice powder. So I'm super excited to be doing a full blown wear test and review going really in depth on this powder and how it works on oily skin because I do have oily skin. But before we get started, I do quickly want to introduce myself for those of you guys who are new to my channel. Hi, welcome. My name is Jessica, aka The Mexican Beauty. I make videos all things beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. I would love for you to go hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already. And let's just go ahead and get right into this review and wear test. So I know that this powder has been around for a long time, especially if you've been on YouTube forever ago. Um, a lot of the OG gurus have talked about this powder, but it recently made a comeback over on TikTok. But I actually came across a video on TikTok on my For You page, and it was from this gorgeous girl named Looney Kayla. I will have her TikTok info down below. She talked about this powder and when I saw that, I was like, girl, I need to check this out for myself. I did some investigation to see where they had it, where I could find it. Um, you can find it at Walmart, you can find it on Amazon and you can also find it at Sally Beauty. So I ran to my nearest Sally Beauty and I went ahead and picked it up. I did a TikTok and also an Instagram like mini review, which you guys can see right here. And I'm testing it out and I was very, very shocked. Um, but a lot of you guys are actually wanting to see like a full in-depth review. So I was like, let me go ahead, come on YouTube and do the full dedicated video. I do have this powder in the shade Natural. Yes, natural. So we also have translucent and some other shades, but I picked this up in the shade natural. This is not tested on animals. A lot of people were concerned about the talc in the powder. I had the lovely opportunity to have a conversation with the brand over on Instagram. They reached out to me when they saw my video and they just told me a little bit more about their brand and their products. They are a clean brand and they did say that this powder does contain talc, but they have other products that do not contain talc. Um, this is such an OG rice powder that um, they just kept the same formula, but they did let me know and they also posted it over on my TikTok comment section that this is verified to be 100% asbestos free. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's vegan, cruelty free, paraben and gluten free and it's $6.99. Cause I know a lot of people were worried about that. Um, the talc and the asbestos, all that stuff. Um, this is 100% asbestos free. So I just wanted to confirm that based on what they had commented in the comment section. Um, so you guys can do your research if you feel comfortable. And if you don't feel comfortable using something with talc, you can definitely go ahead and use their talc free products. They have some really amazing products. Um, and what's the last thing I want to say about the ingredients? I feel like a lot of people were like, oh my God, talc, talc, talc. But after doing more research, a lot of the powders we have have talc in them. Like for example, this NYX Cosmetics Can Stop Won't Stop that I love has talc in it. I think it just depends on like, you know, how it's made and everything. And I don't know much about ingredients. So I want to go in depth, but I did want to clarify that for anybody who may have questions. I know Cover FX has one that's talc free. So I would say if you're really concerned about that, definitely do your research on it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do today, just for review purposes, so that you guys can really see how this works, I'm gonna apply half of it on this side, and then on this side, I'm just gonna leave this side without any powder because I wanna see and show you guys how this does for the day and see what the differences and similarities are. So I'm gonna be taking the powder. This powder does have a little bit of a scent. Honestly, for me, it's not strong at all. I, don't, I do not mind the smell whatsoever. Um, like I said, they also have other products that don't have scents. They just really wanted to keep their traditional rice powder. I feel like rice powders are making a slow comeback because the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop is also a rice pressed powder. Um, so that's just something to note. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same exact method I did over on my TikTok and my Instagram. I'm gonna be using a sponge and I'm just taking my clean sponge. I literally just pressed it all over my face. You guys can see how easily it melts in to my skin. When I press it, it immediately gives like a very like pretty finish. I just like this pressing motion because I feel like it really locks the powder in and does the trick for me. You can apply it however way you want. I know some people prefer to use like a brush because they want more so of that like feather-like effortless effect. Use whatever you feel comfortable using. 
Um, just in case you're wondering for reference, I did use my Oma Beauty foundation. Let me get it. I use this foundation. I've been loving this the Oma Beauty foundation by Sharon C that you can find at Walmart. This has been my go-to. And for concealer, I used my One Size Secure the Blur concealer. And you guys can already see the difference between this side to this side that does have a little bit of that natural shine peeking through. Another thing to note about this foundation right here is that this foundation is a like skin-like foundation. So it's not too dewy, but it's not a matte foundation whatsoever. It's just skin-like. You guys can see how perfected it looks on the skin. Pressing it with the sponge allowed it to like really become one with the foundation and the rest of the makeup, which I really like, which is why I decided to use that technique of using a sponge as opposed to a brush. Um, because I feel like it really helps become one with the skin. Um, as opposed to the powder, you get a little bit more of that effortless look. I would also say, if you're somebody that does have like very oily skin and you really want it to lock in and absorb any of those oils, I feel like applying it with a sponge is really good because if you think about it, when you go and blot your oils through the day, you use a sponge or a blotting tissue and you like press on the face to remove those oils. So I feel like pressing the powder removes the oils but really locks the product in, which is why I would recommend using a dry sponge. So yeah, I mean, look at the difference. I feel like you can see the difference. And I feel like as the day progresses, you'll be able to tell more of the difference. I'm quickly going to be applying my blush on camera. I'm gonna be using the blush in Winter Kits by Kylie Cosmetics. This has been my go-to blush because it is honestly so pretty. And I'm just gonna be applying it on top. And you guys can see like even me applying my blush on top, like it, the powder still like perfectly on and in place. The one thing I will say with the powder, I would recommend applying all your cream products, like cream bronzers, before you do apply the powder so that you're just kind of almost setting the face with the powder. Another thing to note is that they do have pressed powders and they also do have the blotting tissues. I haven't tried the blotting tissues yet, but I will. I've heard such amazing things about them from you guys. Um, I've heard that they are really, really good and they're like staples in your collection. So perhaps if you don't feel comfortable using a powder, you can definitely use the blotting tissues to blot through the day if you do have very oily skin. But I think that this wear test will really show you guys how this does for an oily skin type because I do have oily skin in the spring and summer, especially in the summer because it's so hot and I sweat pretty easily. I can get very dewy very quickly. Um, so we'll be able to tell really how this does and it's a nice hot summer day. So we're really going to see it. But I applied that. I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready off camera and then I'll come back and give you guys my very first impressions of these and then we can go ahead and start our wear test so stay tuned okay guys so full face is done and i'm ready to give you guys my first initial thoughts on how everything looks so you guys can see the difference between having the face nice and powdered with the rice powder i feel like i just have this really good like filter like effect almost it literally looks like i have a filter on my face um this is the side that we have no powder on whatsoever just the foundation definitely a more radiance from within look just a very like natural skin like finish you guys can see the radiance this is one of the areas where my radiance really peeks through like right above my eyebrow which you guys can see there i do want to quickly touch both sides to kind of see how they compare and contrast so let's touch this side it feels very silky and soft it doesn't feel like i have anything on the face which i like because sometimes products can feel really sticky but this doesn't feel sticky let's see this side this feels very sticky just like tacky Okay, let's go ahead and kind of read a little bit about the rice powder so we can kind of see if we agree with some of the claims. So it's supposed to be a finishing powder that helps makeup last longer, absorbs excess oil, and leaves a silky finish on the skin. Like I said, definitely feels very silky-like. Definitely absorb my oils. You guys can see the difference. Um, and it's supposed to make makeup last longer. So we will definitely put that to the test against the side where we have no powder on. That will be more so of our all day wear. There are four different shade selections for these powders. You have nude for a lighter skin tone and they have a translucent and the natural, which is what I have, and then warm beige. So it says what makes it special. You can use it alone or set with makeup, helps makeup last longer, oil absorbing highlighter. Let me see if there's any like good pro tips. Okay, so like I said earlier, for a more natural look, you definitely can just use a fluffy brush to dust it all over. Um, definitely feel like to have a more like 
oil absorbing situation i would recommend the sponge i feel like that was my best bet and how it applied the best on me was using a dry sponge to really press and apply that product all over and really sink it in and have it become one with your foundation it's gonna give me a velvety smooth natural looking matte coverage so you guys can see that right there and then like i said they also do have their pressed version if you want to try that out um, so there's options as to how you can wear it loose pressed the blotting tissues. I'm gonna go ahead and carry on with the rest of my day right now. It is 2 p.m. I'm going to be wearing this for the entire day. I'm also going to do an in natural lighting clip so you guys can really see how these compare and contrast on the face with natural lighting. Um, and then we can decide whether I think this is something worth checking out. I mean, I already do think it's something worth checking out, but I really wanted to do this in depth so you guys can see how it wore for the entire day because I know that's something that a lot of people wonders. Okay, how long is it gonna keep me oil free? So that's what we're gonna be putting to the test right now in this wear test portion of the video i'll see you guys later for my final thoughts okay guys so here is the face with natural lighting this is the side with the powder and then this is the side with no powder or anything on i definitely do feel like this side where we powdered it definitely looks more like filter like you guys can see i feel like this side kind of just shows a little bit more of my imperfections than this side right here what are your thoughts let me know down below in the comment section but i just wanted to show you guys how the powder side looks versus the side with no powder so keep watching because you guys don't want to miss my final thoughts at the end of the day okay guys so it is now 10 30 p.m and i'm ready to give you guys my final thoughts on the paladia's rice powder so this is the side with the powder on this is the side with no powder on i definitely do think you can see the difference by the end of the day i do also feel like when i was wearing my mask there was more transfer on the side where i didn't powder than on the side where i did powder so i definitely do appreciate that is there a little bit of oil speaking through yes of course but nowhere near as much as this side that we did in powder so i definitely do think this is worth checking out six dollars go get it at sally beauty or amazon or walmart i think that this powder will be great if this is something you've been looking for it gives you such a beautiful blurring effect but also helps control those oils i definitely do think this is more geared towards somebody who does want that matte finish who wants an oil-free finish so definitely for my combination to oily skin people for sure for people that have dry skin i wouldn't recommend this because it will definitely be more of that drying effect um i also do want to say that this looked fantastic with flash i did a flash photography in the darkness and i was like whoa this looks good so i definitely do think this is worth checking out if you have been eyeing it because it is a really really good powder for such an affordable price like i mentioned this is an og powder this isn't anything new but i'm so glad that it's come back i know some people have probably already been using it for years but i'm so glad that people are talking about it again and more people were able to discover it again so if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up let's me know to continue doing these types of videos for you guys also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that's pretty much all i have for you guys don't forget to stay safe stay blessed and stay beautiful and i'll be seeing you guys very very soon for a brand new video bye guys